If you missed the food of Puerto Rico, but you're looking for it here specifically in LA, I think you found your spot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Los Angeles in Canoga Park because I'm gonna be checking out one of the most unique food establishments that you can find in LA. In this ghost kitchen is a Puerto Rican restaurant called Tainos LA. Puerto Rican food is really hard to find in Los Angeles, believe it or not. And Tainos is the highest rated Puerto Rican restaurant in LA, according to Yelp and Google. So this is the video. I encourage you to stick all the way to the end of, especially if you love Puerto Rican food or are interested to know more about it because I'm gonna show you some of the most amazing Puerto Rican food that you can find, not just in LA, but in all of California here at Tainos. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be walking into Kitchen Place and looking for this Puerto Rican eatery. How exciting. Since this is a cloud kitchen, there are a few different food operations going on all under one roof. You will find quite a lot of these in Los Angeles. And I'm here specifically, once again, for the Puerto Rican eatery that is Tainos. And I believe it's this door, which is door number 20. All right, guys, so this is Eddie or Tio. He is the master chef who's gonna be cooking all this authentic homestyle Puerto Rican food today. So Eddie is starting off with the mofongo, which is a very popular Puerto Rican food. And this one you could do with seafood or you can do it with uh, beef. All right, we got some garlic, good flavoring. And you need some green plantains for the mofongo. Yeah, I remember this because I had it one time and it goes right in there. Oh, there it goes. Okay, got some house special sauce. Whoa, fire action is always fun. Okay, what is this? This is the pilong for ma match day, the, the, the mofongo. Mofongo, yes. okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll see that in just a bit. <laughs> oh, some seasoning. Okay. And that's the chicharron. chicharron. Oh, all right. Add it in with some of that plantain. That's pretty awesome. This is garlic. And also some garlic. garlic. Yeah, makes anything taste better. Do you guys agree? That looks like hard work. So the chef Eddie has 30 years of experience cooking Puerto Rican food, especially back in Puerto Rico. I heard that he used to teach cooking classes back there too. So he definitely is a master chef. And one of the reasons why they opened this food operation here in Canoga Park was that there's not too much Puerto Rican food here. So yes, this is definitely a welcome addition to the food scene in LA. Very exciting. Ooh, that's the Criolla right there. Yes. Homemade. I do everything. Everything in this chef. kitchen? Yeah. Um, because it's too small for having other people. When they open the restaurant, it's different, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, hard worker, man. Okay. 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 And Criolla. You do That's the rice. The arroz for the Criolla. Yes. Wow, okay. it uses a lot of rice. See, arroz, Criolla is Criolla. done. Yeah. Arroz, Criolla, right? And I want to clarify that there's no indoor seating here at Taino. Since this is a cloud kitchen, you'd have to get your food to go. And you can order your food on the website. It's going to be in the video description. So the only reason why I'm here inside the kitchen is for you guys to show you what the food looks like. But other than that, the regular way to do it would be to order, pick up here, and then you just eat it wherever you want. And so far, this food looks pretty amazing. Some of the best sellers, starting off with the mofongo, very popular Puerto Rican food. So I got mine with churrasco, which is steak. That's pretty fancy, huh? So the mofongo, if you guys don't know what it is, it's like mashed plantains right there with a lot of seasoning. And on top, you can get your choice of protein. But I heard that steak is really the way to go. And this one is the arroz a la criolla. And this one has uh, shrimp in there, yes, and some of these plantains too. Ooh, that rice looks so delicious. And if you guys want to make it a little more exciting, they also have their hot sauce to the left. 
And to the right, that's kind of like their version of uh, ketchup. Yeah, so it's their house-made ketchup filled with a lot of other ingredients. This is my second time eating Puerto Rican food. And since I don't eat it that often, you can tell I'm pretty excited to eat this, right? I've had a lot of Caribbean foods in my life, but Puerto Rican food, not so much. Oh, that plantain is so well seasoned. And I haven't even gotten to the beef yet. Look at that, the churrasco. Mmm. See, right off the bat, I can already tell that they use very fresh ingredients. Like the beef is very high quality. It's tender. It's so juicy. Uh, you know, it just tastes like something out of a, like a steakhouse. It's really good. I feel like I'm eating the Puerto Rican version of that Peruvian dish called lomo saltado. You know, with the steak as well as the potatoes, you know, they use something very similar. But of course the seasoning, everything, the taste is different. But this is also pretty fabulous. Now when you order these foods to go, it doesn't come in these plates. This is just for presentation purposes, but usually they would give it to you in to-go containers. Oh wow. When you eat it, you just know you're eating like a Caribbean style rice dish, which is good. Mm. Those bananas are so sweet too. But how about some of that shrimp? Oh yeah, gotta have shrimp with this too, right? Mmm. That shrimp is so fresh. Whoa, that has like a nice bite to it. Yeah, like I said, they use pretty high quality ingredients here. It's just like, like mom's home cooking. And if you guys like empanadas, they do have their version here. And this one looks super crispy, look at that. And this one is supposed to have ground beef inside of it. Here's another great Puerto Rican food, the Alcaparilla. I've had this one time at another restaurant. So this one inside is stuffed with beef, but the outside layer, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's basically a mixture of green banana and it's called yotia in Puerto Rican. That is the empanada. Puerto Rico version and I've had empanadas made so many ways like the Central American way, South American way and uh, yeah so I'm very excited to try this one. Whoa oh man you gotta be careful it just like falls off. Outer layer is very crispy it's almost like eating a thick wonton skin so it's not like that more like cakey or pastry type of texture more like fried, as you can see. And inside, you got very nicely seasoned ground beef. And don't forget, you can also use your sauces. Whoa, it actually makes a big difference. This already tasted good without the sauces, but when you put the sauces on, it just like takes it to another level. Don't forget your sauces on this because with the sauces, now this is gonna be like one of the best Puerto Rican foods you'll eat. Wow, this alcaparilla is pretty hefty. Man, it's like almost like lifting weights. Okay, heavier the better, right? You get more for your money's worth. Maybe as you guys can tell, it is very crispy. So yes, it is very crispy outside. And uh, inside you taste the softness of the green banana and the yotia and a lot of that ground beef inside. Kind of like the one that's inside the empanada. This is another one of my favorite Puerto Rican foods. Really, don't forget to put the sauce in because I think that's really going to add a lot of flavor to this. Yeah, one of the must-get dishes here. So here's another one of their show stealers. If you like it a little heavier, you should get the perni con arroz gandules. So it's like a pea rice, pigeon pea rice, along with some kind of a roasted pork. And there's like a lot of it in there. And what would a Puerto Rican meal be without some tostones? Yes, yeah, some sliced mashed green plantains that are deep fried and lightly salted, I think? Oh no, there's actually garlic on top of it. Okay. And I don't think I've had tostones that had this garlic sauce on top of it, but I think it's a good combination because garlic makes anything tastes good, right? 
yes, if you are a garlic fan, you have every reason to be happy because this thing is really like super, super awesome. I could seriously like 20 of these. No joke. I've even made it at home one time because of how much I liked it. I tried to copy it. I don't think I've had this dish before, but I think I'm gonna like it. Just by looking at that pork, wow. Wow, that rice is so good. It really tastes like something that mom or grandma would cook for you. But look at this pork. Oh man, that pork is pretty crazy. Mm. That meat is very tender. You see? It just rips right off. Almost like pulled pork. Oh man, this is great. And it's not even that porky too. This is perfect. So I can tell if you guys really like pork, especially one that's super tender and kind of a smoky tasting, kind of crispy on top, this is the one for you. This is something I could definitely eat here when I come here again. Pork and rice, amazing. So I suppose if you love chicken, you should get the barbecue de guayava, which is chicken, pollo, with their house special guava sauce and some rice. It looks like there are dishes here that have the white rice too. I'm always down with that. Looks almost like uh, Chinese or Thai rice. Okay, that's pretty good. You know, it has like a very basic taste, which I think would be good for something that's strongly flavored like the chicken. So this is guava sauce, which means that it's going to be kind of sweet, I'm assuming. Oh man, that's amazing. Oh, it tastes just like guava. It's like thick and sweet, fruity, totally works with this chicken. And this chicken has been barbecued, I could taste it. So just imagine like that flame broiled or flame grilled chicken with that gooey, very delicious guava sauce over it. I have never had a chicken dish like this before, but I can definitely eat this one again. I don't know if this is a menu item, but this is the Puerto Rican coquito, which is, I think, uh, something that's popular in Puerto Rico. It's definitely very creamy. Is this like an alcoholic beverage? Mmm. Wow, that is so good. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a rum, but with thick, kind of like a coconut flavored milk. The chicharron de pollo. So yes, this is the chicken chicharron. And I don't think I've had this before. Okay, it's like their version of fried chicken. Since they filled my order with so much sauce, might as well use it for the chicken, right? It's definitely gonna add a lot of flavor. Oh, man, it's hot. See, you can tell it came right out of the fryer. So I would say when you eat this, you should wait for at least 10 minutes so that it can really cool off but the flavor is pretty amazing. So yeah, it tastes just like a, like a fried chicken. You know, they call it the chicharron. First ever time having a chicken version of it. And look at the skin. Mmm. Oh man. That's like too much awesomeness right there. Supposedly a big staff favorite here at Taino. So this is something you should definitely get, especially if you love fried chicken. I mean, look at that, that is so amazing. Mmm, wow. Well, these for sure you can order to go. So we got flan, like the vanilla flan to the left and the cheese flan to the right. Why don't I try some of the cheese? Oh, look at that, it's squirting out. It's like finding oil in the ground. Okay, so that's definitely a flan. Very creamy, like pasty creamy and kind of like a cheese taste but I love it, tastes so good. This is definitely a good flan. I mean, everything tasted so good in its own way that it's kind of hard for me to say which was my favorite because I love the pork dish, the pernil. I love the guava chicken. And of course you can't really go wrong with the, the um, mofongo, right? And the tostones. So yes, these are just some of the foods that you can get here at what many people say is the best Puerto Rican eatery that you can find in LA and possibly all of California. So Tainos is one of those spots, those hidden gems, secret spot you cannot miss, especially if you want to explore Puerto Rican food. It is pretty amazing.
All right, guys, so before I close out this episode, I want to give a shout out to Tio once again, who's the awesome chef here at Tainio LA. So come here, tell him you saw this video. He's going to take really good care of you, right? Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.